Hi everyone, hi, welcome back. Today I'm gonna work on a pre-primed canvas. So the last couple of months I've been only working on raw canvases that we stretched our own. But this time I'm feeling going back a little bit. I don't wanna forget how a normal canvas works if it's pre-primed and pre-bought in the store. So I will be working on this 80 by 80 canvas and I have a composition, a circular composition in mind. So let's start creating a botanical abstract painting here. And since it's fall and the colors of fall are so, so gorgeous, I've selected quite a lot of fall colors. All right, here it is. It's so white. <laughs> I'm so used to having the the creme, the cream color of the of the raw canvas. Like I said, I want to create a sort of circular motion. I think that could be super cool. So let's get started with the background here. Well, I selected everything, but I forgot my brushes. So <laughs> let me get that. I do want my big brush tool. Uh, I will be starting with just some water. So everything is wet and it doesn't dry out that quick because acrylics do dry out super quick. So I'll be starting with a light color, pale olive green. So I probably will keep rotating this a lot. <laughs> so I'm just layering now the, the lines of the composition. Uh, I'm so used to that the first layers are just not looking amazing. Um, but then the fun starts and building it up. All right, I will leave this be for just a little bit, I think like 10 minutes or something, because the canvas is too wet to start creating some contrast. So I'll be back. I'm back and I think it's now the right amount of wet <laughs> to start building up more colors. And I was thinking of using something like brown together with some um, transparent red. Let's add some yellow. Well, no, not yellow. Let's add some orange. Both orange.
Uh, I love uh, uh, the colors in it. It's so fall. Really enjoying this. This part, this is the biggest part really. This is taking almost half of the canvas. And by the way, I did have quite a lot of requests to make a course with this kind of uh, style. And I must tell you, I was working on a different course. But I think I will make this course first. So last time it took me about one, one and a half months. So hopefully it will come out end of November. I'm very pleased with the colors and also the composition really. And I think uh, this way, how I'm looking at it would be the composition. But I'm not done yet. Uh, I need to think about my next move. So I will be walking around in circles here <laughs> to see what I will do next. I will be adding some white, I guess, but yeah. I need to think about it for just a second, but I do want this canvas to be a little bit wet still, so I can't take too long. So I'll be back. Okay, I've made myself some tea and I'm ready for the next part. I will be pouring some white, dipping my brush in other colors and creating more strokes. <laughs> but am I really ready for this? Oh. I am. Oh no! See what I did? Okay, so now I definitely need to move on to that part and add some white there. But I do love trips, by the way, on the campus. Oh wow! <laughs> I didn't expect that to go so far. Okay, well, I'm quite happy with how this looks now. I will let it dry, uh, search for the perfect composition because this can hang in every single way, really. And then I'm gonna think if I will add some more small details and touch some things up, so I'll be back. Well, I ended up doing nothing except for the sides. Those are now a gorgeous dark set green with look black on camera but it is green i think the painting is perfect how it is composition is something else isn't it it really worked out and those colors 
Like it's such a warm and cozy feeling. Definitely autumn season. And this is the perfect start for an autumn series. So would love to hear your opinion, your comment, and I'll see you next Sunday.